So this question says the measure of angle R is 2 pi over 3 radians. I like to actually call that 2 thirds pi because that's the same exact thing. So angle R equals 2 thirds pi radians. The measure of angle T is 5 pi twelfths, right? So angle T equals 5 twelfths pi radians greater than the measure of angle R. Okay, so I messed that up. That's not accurate. It's 5 twelfths pi greater, which means we have our 2 thirds pi plus 5 twelfths pi. And then when I think about how I continue to simplify this, in order to add these fractions together, I have to have a common denominator. So this 3 can be multiplied by 4 to become a 12. And therefore, I'd have to multiply this 2 by a 4 also, which would make it an 8. So 2 thirds pi is the same as 8 twelfths pi. Now, having a 12 for both denominators as, allows me to add the fractions together. So what I end up with here is 8 twelfths pi plus 5 twelfths pi, which is 13 twelfths pi. So there's my angle T. Um, what is the measure of angle T in degrees? Okay, so I have the measure of angle T in radians. So radians to degrees. Now we're going to do some conversion. Pi radians, so I'll put pi under the radians, is equal to 180 degrees. So if I take, and I'm going to go up here for more space, I take my 13 twelfths, and I'll put pi in the numerator this time, 13 pi over 12, and I multiply that by pi on the bottom and 180 on top, right? Because it's pi radians on bottom. I get to cancel out the pi's here. I go to my calculator. Actually, I'm going to do some cross-canceling. 12 goes into 12 once. 12 goes into 180 15 times. So all that's left for me to do is multiply 13 times 15. I throw that in my calculator. And what I get is that this is going to equal 195 degrees. So my answer here is choice C.